and we're about to do the elimination method for Algebra 1. All right? Are we ready, class? We're ready. ready. All right. Okay, so we've done substitution method. Substitution method, we wrote two equations side by side. Elimination method, I recommend writing two equations, one on top of the other. So there we go. So, if these equations were next to each other in substitution method, we could solve this by now. Remember, we isolate one variable and plug it back. Okay. However, using elimination method is a different cup of tea. This time, the whole concept of elimination method is to add down within the equation. Add by columns. Right? I see a few faces of confusion, but don't worry, it's only been 30 seconds. Okay, so if we were to add down here, x plus x would be what? 2x. 2x. y plus negative y would be what? Zero. Negative 3 plus 1 would be what? Zero. Is this solvable? Yes. Yeah. What is x? Uh, x is negative 1. x is negative 1. I like that method. I like it too. It's actually my favorite method. It's usually many people's favorite method. But if it's not your favorite method, then I don't hate you. Okay. So, if x is negative 1, same thing applies. We come back to the top and we plug in. So, either one. Because in this situation, there's only one answer. Alright, so our answer is negative 1 something for y. So let's actually bring it here. So, Jordan, which one do you want to plug in? One. First one, yeah. I plug it in here because it avoids the negatives too. So here we go. X plus Y equals negative three. Instead of X, what are we writing? Negative one. Negative one. Plus Y equals negative three. Y equals negative two. Plus one. Plus one. Y equals negative two. Negative two. And then you can plug it back in, both of them, into both equations to verify that it's correct. All right? Questions so far? Okay, let's try another one. Yeah, I like this too. It's uh, neat. Kind of like, I don't know, like neato things. <laughs> I mean, there's so many things that are neato. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what do you want me to say? Like pizza? It's like, it's like no justice. It's neato like elimination method. Alright, so let's add down again. What do we get? 3x plus x is 4x. 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 Yeah, 4x. Yeah. What happens here? Gone. 13 plus 7? 20. 20. Divide by 4. X equals 5. Wait. I got it. I like this. Why do we do this first? Because uh, it's, it easier to, it's easier to go from hard to easy, I believe. Plus, it's like a treat, the end of the line. Yes, question. Why wouldn't you subtract 3x minus x in the beginning? If you subtract 3x minus x, you'll get 2x, and then you have to subtract this as well, and you would get negative 4y, and then you subtract this as well, and you get 6. So, we would still be left with an equation with two variables. The whole process of elimination, the word elimination, means to eliminate one variable. Right? I always think of elimination like terminator. But I just, that's my own There's a new version of terminator coming up. That's very good, it's irrelevant right now. Thank you though. You're welcome. Okay. So, we want to eliminate one version. You always add it? Okay, Okay, you can add or subtract. However, I'd recommend adding always, because adding avoids the confusion of subtracting. If we subtracted, we would have to subtract the whole equation, and meaning distributing the negative. Yeah. You're allowed to do that, but let's get into a process of only adding. Question. Um, okay. When you La. Have, La. Once you have um, x equals 5, then like, how, do you, how do you get y? You plug x equals 5 into any one of the two equations. Either one? Either one. The easier one. Okay. The easier one. So, which one would you like to plug in? The second one. Let's plug it into the second one. Okay. So, I'm going to rewrite it. x plus 2y equals 7. 
So instead of x, what are we writing? Five. Five. Plus two. Plus two y. Plus two y. Equals seven. Seven. Minus five. Minus five. Divide. Bring it up here. Two y equals two. two. So y equals one. So there's your pair. Do you want us like to write the point? Yeah, the point is the classic way. What's the classic way to write? That's five. So I remember. We're supposed to do three times five. Three times five? Yeah, because like I. Oh, you plugged it into the same. I plug it into this equation, the second equation. Oh. We can plug it into the Whichever one you want. You get the same answer. You're going to get the same answer. Really? I got. Let's let's do it for fun. If we plug x equals five into here, we get fifteen. Minus two. Minus two y equals thirteen. Uh, yeah, minus, 15. minus 15 on no, both sides, negative. you would get negative 2y equals negative 2. Oh, so can you give me the right? Either one. <laughs> oh, okay. Either one. Yes? Why didn't you make it 15x? Because you have x equals 15. 15. Oh, okay. All right, let's try another one. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's so much shorter. Yeah. Let's try another one. Okay. I, I like this. <laughs> I like you. Bless you. Bless you. It's funny to have sneezes on camera. <laughs> Alright, so we have six all together. Here's number three. 2x minus 5y. 2x minus 7y. Negative 6. Negative 14. Okay, so let's try that one. So. Wait, I didn't do I know, wait. Yeah, I'm going to talk. I'm not going to write. Yeah. If we were to add these, would that help us? 